Hello, hi, hi, hi. Sophie here, just hopping on for a quick, um, quick live to discuss a topic that is so important. Um, it's really important to me and the women who are in my community um, because I think so many women struggle and really, truly, it's interesting. I speak to women um, every day who need and 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 want to lose. You know, wait, but really get the health back. I mean, we're talking about getting being in the best health that you can possibly be um, after after menopause, and um, it never ceases to amaze me uh, the amount of um, these sort of band aids out there that we can just spin our wheels trying all these different things. Oh, I hope this works. What about this? What about that? And of course, we're sort of blasted by all the marketing for all these, uh, as I as I call them, you know. Um, really band-aids meaning that it's just you know for, for, for a hot second it might make you feel better because it gives you some false hope maybe if I take this supplement if I do this or I do that it's going to work maybe it even does work for a short amount of time but really what we're talking about here is what needs to be done you know for for for, for permanent weight loss because I don't think, I would imagine that anybody out there, if you really want to get in the best shape of your life, you you want to stay there, don't you? You don't want it to be just a, oh, I'm just going to lose a little bit of weight and get in there just so that I can, um, you know, look good for vacation or make that wedding or that reunion. This is about you feeling your best, most beautiful confident self no matter what shape you are no matter what age you are no matter what you look like it is all about finding uh that 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 part of you and um so so i'm gonna go over very quickly in this live i've got six uh ways six um <laughs> approaches that i would avoid if i were you at all costs if you want to lose weight if you want to i'm going to put it differently if you want to find and live at your ideal weight for the rest of your life get your confidence back and feel and be the best you being in optimal health if you want those things then listen if you're not interested in those things and you just want a quick fix, no, I just want to lose a quick few pounds, quick as I can, any which way, then, you know, switch off immediately, like uh, end, end this live because it's not for you. But I just want to get to the bottom of it. I want to get to the truth because it's super frustrating. I speak to women so often. They go, well, what about this? I've heard about this or that supplement or this essential oil or this or that, the other. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's really not getting to the root cause of the problem. And unless you get to the root cause of the problem, you are not going to be successful long term. So I'm going to go over six approaches that I've identified and that I hear quite a lot about that do not work. And hopefully, if nothing else, listening to this live, you'll be like, oh, well, at least I don't have to waste my time and my energy, and my money going down that route. Okay. So let's get into it. I'm just going to turn, take this little banner off because it's going to irritate us all. So let's get into it. All right. So number one thing that I hear that my, these are all my these are six of my kind of pet peeves because I just know, having done this for decades, that these approaches just really don't work for what you want if you want long term ideal weight and optimal health. And I'm assuming you do. OK, so. Um, number one is uh, the, the approach that we hear about moderation, right? Oh, just do it in moderation, you know, everything in moderation. And another thing I hear is, oh, don't deprive yourself, right? Now, here's the thing. Great. I agree. Don't deprive yourself. But don't deprive yourself of the beautiful foods that your body actually craves, and needs and wants, absolutely don't deprive yourself of those, which is why I, my approach, I don't believe in sort of calorie counting and portion control and, and, the, and such, those kind of approaches, because that does smack of deprivation. But, but it's very different to say, well, oh, don't deprive yourself of having, you know, a couple of pastries or a bit of cheese or a bit of this or a bit of the whatever it is 
that is an addictive food because foods are really, really addictive. And the kind of moderation approach, what they don't take into account is that these foods for most of us, not all of us, but most women who I've worked with for many, many years, there are certain foods, even foods that you might think, well, they're healthy, they're not junk foods or whatever, but certain foods are highly, highly addictive. A really good example would be cheese. Cheese is very, very addictive. It has something called casomorphine in it. Go figure. It's extremely addictive. So for somebody, a healthcare professional, to say to you, look, you know, you need to lose weight. Well, just try and, you know, have things in moderation and whatever. It's not going to work if you are a if you are in any way, shape, or form a comfort eater, and if you've used those foods because you've used them to make you feel good, then every single time you have one of those foods because you've been told, well, you can have everything in moderation. When you have that cheese or that pizza or that chocolate or that whatever it is, um, it sets off a whole chain reaction in your brain. It's your brain chemistry, and we can't ignore that we can't ignore how our brain uh, works the wiring of our brain it sets off the dopamine chemicals in our brain it's like a drug if you like um whereby you know very often with with um with many of us even those even if you don't class yourself as somebody who is a food addict it doesn't matter. It's very likely that you are ad addicted to certain foods. And that's why when we eliminate these foods, foods that can be addictive and get them out of the way, it's almost a relief. My clients find that it's such a relief because then you stop teasing your brain. And it is our brain chemistry. We can't circumvent that. That's why I always say that, you know, weight loss and health gain, it really begins with mindset. If you don't get the mindset, if you don't understand your mindset, your operating system, if you don't understand how that works, then over time, you're going to fail and fail and fail. And you're just going to think that it's your fault. But it's not your fault. It's actually the way that your brain is wired. So that's the first one. Where if somebody says to you, oh, moderation, everything in moderation, I should be able to have that. Well, I speak to women all the time who have been trying that moderation approach for years, for decades, and then they still haven't practiced. And then over the years, they just are gaining more and more weight. Why I'm talking about this as being menopause and beyond, if you're watching and you're younger, you might be in your late 30s, you might be in your early 40s, your mid 40s, that's fine too. You might not have hit menopause yet, that's fine too. You need to listen, this is just as relevant for you. The reason why I'm saying menopause, I'm 57 now, and I work with a lot of women who are in their 50s and who are in um, perimenopause, menopause or beyond. And there are certain changes that happen in our body, physiologically, all through our system and in our mind. We change. We change significantly. And that's why, you know, these, the, I, I tend to speak to this age group. That's why I entitled this live, you know, how not to lose weight um, in menopause and beyond, because it gets harder. It does. And so I, I'm here to make it easier for you. I'm here to show you that it is absolutely 100% possible. If there's anybody on who has worked with me. I can't really see the comments. I should put the comments on. But any of my lovely clients that have worked with me um, in my program, you know, you, your testament to this. You can get in there and say, yes, it is absolutely possible. Women work with me in their 50s and their 60s and they lose, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds. Um, you know, um, in a way that's really, really beautiful and healthy. And um, and many of them start by watching my uh, masterclass. And I put my, I think I put the link to my masterclass in the description to this video, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube. So you can always look at that masterclass. P please watch that masterclass, it's free. And I just outline the basic shifts that all these women have made in order to get the outcome and the result that they want. So that's number one. Number two, is the 80-20 approach, right? Which we hear a lot about, is really common, isn't it? It's it's the sort of, in a way, it seems to be the easier, softer way. Well, I'll do the 80-20, or I'll eat, you know, healthy for lunch and for one meal a day, or I'll, you know, you know what the 80-20 approach is, or the 70-30, but here's the thing, as one of my beautiful clients said to me the other day, 
She said, the problem with that, Sophie, wise, wise lady that she was, is that it's a slippery slope, isn't it? It's like, what is 80-20? How can you absolutely know that it's 80-20? Um, how, you know, or 90-10 can very easily slip into 80-20. So I'm going to be good 80% of the time. And then what's going to happen that 20% of the time? And then that gets into that whole kind of diet mindset nonsense of, well, I'm going to be good most of the time. And then I'm going to have my treat days or my cheat days. Um, but then again, it's sort of that kind of, connects up to my point number one of the moderation is that on the treat days or the cheat days, then what are you eating and allowing yourself? And you've set up that mindset of like, oh, I'm going to be like that. And then I'm going to just allow myself. And then the sort of treat um, is, is what is a treat? Is it something that's not, um, not really a treat in the sense of if it's something that could be harmful to your health and your body and can tease your brain? to want more of that thing. Well, if it is, then as far as I'm concerned, it's not a treat, it's something that's gonna, it's harmful. So all of this really goes into mindset and I really deeply go into mindset with my lovely clients. Dana, she's on, yep. One of my cli lovely clients is on actually, is actually in my program right now. Dana, you know all of this, my love, cause she's actually in it right now doing it wellness warrior, courageous, incredible woman that you are. I'm so glad. Yeah, and Leah, you're right. And then when you fall off the wagon, you feel, um, you know, you feel horrible. And then you start criticizing yourself and hating yourself. And it sets up that whole cycle again. It just does not work. It really, really, truly doesn't. Now, as Dana would know, who's on here, is it easy to do all this? Is it easy? Honestly, I mean, let's honestly, let's just be real about this. Over the age of 50, when all your hormones have changed, right, and you've been through perimenopause, menopause, maybe beyond, right, and maybe you've got some ill health, maybe you've got, uh, you know, um, your gut health isn't as good as, as it, you know, you've been on a standard American diet for many, many years, which has impaired your gut health, and all of this stuff that happens to us, right, is it easy to suddenly boom in a healthy way? And when I say healthy, meaning that you're bringing down cholesterol levels, triglycerides, AC1 levels, blood pressure, that you're getting your health back. Is it easy? No, it's absolutely not. And if anybody tells you it is, or there's a quick fix for it, they are not telling you the truth. But is it worth it? Is, is it the most beautiful work that you will ever, ever, ever do in your life? Yes, because you're saving your life. And you're putting yourself in a position where you will not end up being a burden to those you love. In fact, on the contrary, you'll be able to look after those you love, right? And this is really what it comes to when we start getting into, you know, 50 and over. When you're younger, you think, oh, that will never happen to me or I'll be okay or whatever. But seriously, you know, and the wise women that I work with are a little bit younger, who are in their sort of late 30s, early 40s, right, and go, gosh, I'm going to take care of this now before those health markers start going astray. All right, so we've done number one, moderation doesn't work. Number two, and I'm telling you, if you've just hopped on what does not work for weight loss um, um, and, and, and health gain, um, menopause and beyond. So we've done moderation, 80-20, they're very similar. Okay, number three, here we go, pet peeve supplements, right? I hear women email me every day because I am a weight management specialist and I'm a mindset coach and they email me or message me every day going, what about this supplement, right? And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I know, I know because I know, I know, I know that there is no supplement no matter what the marketing is no matter how strong that marketing machine is out there, there is not one supplement that is going to solve your problem. I can hand on my heart, I can promise you. I don't know, I mean, you could take a, a you know, a diet pill, uh, one that is gonna, you know, which is like a, you know, is a chemical drug uh, that is gonna give you the jitters and impact, impair your health and whatever. You can take some of those pills and, and, and good, good, good luck to you if you do, because you are, you are putting your health at risk and you might get weight loss, but we're not talking about fitting into a skinny casket here, are we? We're talking, that does nothing. That doesn't change your brain. That doesn't change your mindset in any way, shape or form. And I will tell you again and again and again, if you do not change your mindset, you will not be able to be successful over time with 
no matter what approach you try, even if it's a really good, healthy approach. Great, bring it on. Thank God that, 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 that there are those approaches out there, right? N not the only one that, that, that can offer a really healthy approach. But if the mindset piece isn't there, then good luck. It's just a matter of time. Okay, Dana, you know that, right? Hi, Lindsay. Hi, hi, hi. Um, all right, so um, supplements. So somebody said, I've had like two or three emails in the last couple of days about uh, supplements. I'm like, all right, show me, I'll have a look, you know, that have come across their Facebook feed or whatever it is. And one of them was a supplement. I'm actually not going to say the name. I'm afraid to say the name because my God, if that marketing team get me, I'll be like, no, take me down. But it was a supplement beginning with B. And it, and uh, bio something or other, I'll just put it that way. And it was like it had all these pictures of women, you know, before and after pictures, you know, the usual, um, and and you know, weight loss in in all the things in thirty days, extreme fat burn, the whole thing. You can see why we would be tempted by that just by the pictures, because it's like, oh, okay. If I don't have to do the work, if I don't have to do the mindset work, if I don't have to do a complete lifestyle change, and I can just take this pill and go from that to that, bring it on, right? So I understand that. I understand. However, please don't be hoodwinked into all that silliness because honestly, um, this, I looked into it and this particular supplement had um, probiotics in it. Duh. I mean, and seriously, you know, I'm very, as, as, a, as a nutritionist, um, a clinical nutritionist, I'm on the fence about probiotics anyway because you can just keep on guzzling loads of those and it's sort of, you know, they're, they're like guests that stay there and populate for a small amount of time. It's more important that you have prebiotics, which you, if you eat, Dana, as you're eating, uh, you know, on my program, you are going to start uh, building. Though that's, that's you, you can eat probiotics from a really healthy uh, plant-based diet. That's, you're basically eating your probiotics and it's better that you eat them and take them in supplement form. Always better. I'll always go to food rather than supplements. So anyway, you have probiotics. And MCT, which MCT is that old chestnut that's touted with the whole kind of bulletproof kind of MCT, you know, uh, oil is extracted, you know, from, from coconut oil. And it's just like, oh, please do me a favor, you know, to, to boost metabolism. So as far as all this is concerned, when it comes to supplements, and, you know, there are hundreds and thousands of them, obviously, but, you know, you really got to look at the science. And you've got to look at multiple aspects of science. You've got to look at a meta-analysis because any one supplement or supplement company can go, here's a study. Here's a study that proves that MCT or proves that blah, blah, blah. But one study does not cut it. If you are going to or tempted to take a supplement, do your research. First, find out if it's safe because a lot of them are very unsafe. Just because they're in a health food store doesn't mean they're safe. Just because you can buy them on Instagram doesn't mean they're safe. Right, seriously. Um, and then you want to look at the studies, the peer-reviewed, multiple peer-reviewed studies, right? There needs to be a lot of different studies and they need to be well set up studies, right? This is complex. This is the work that I do for you because I nerd out on this and because I'm pissed when there's all this misinformation out there. So um, anyway, beware of supplements. That's, that's, what, that's my number three of how not to lose weight after uh, menopause. Uh, Hawthorne, uh, yeah. You know, I'm not. I can't. I'm not going to comment on that because I. But honestly, because I don't know enough about it, um, and so I can't really comment on, on, on that. To be honest with you. Um, all right, number four: how not to lose weight is teas and essential oils. And I've put these together because I don't want to make this too long. This live, but um, you know, there's all these skinny teas, skinny this, skinny that, skinny detox, blah blah blah. And some of them are really dangerous because they actually have an enormous amount of caffeine and, and these other compounds in them. And they can actually be, you know, they, they can be dangerous. Um, I did a segment on TV about this and we, you know, the producers and really looked into, you know, some studies of women who had literally, you know, had a heart attack from taking those, uh, drinking those kind of teas with, the, with these certain compounds in them. So you should be very careful. But even the kind of um, you know, the, I actually made a DIY skinny tea actually for this TV show, which was just with, with very, you know, benign um, um, things in it. Um, but, you know, but it's not a miracle cure. 
can you have the, a tea, a lovely tea, green tea, amazing. If there's any tea that I would recommend to help you on your weight loss journey, but not to notice there's a huge difference between green tea is going to, I'm going to lose my weight if I drink five cups of green tea. No, you're not. No, you're not. It's not a miracle cure. Can green tea be part of a beautiful weight loss journey where you're dealing with your mind, body, soul, and you're, you've changed your entire diet to a healthy diet? Yes, of course, I'm drinking green tea now. Cheers, everybody. But it's not a miracle cure. Essential oils. I heard this one the other day. You know, um, I think some of these big multi-level marketing uh, essential oil companies tout, which is pretty scary, actually, drinking. So ingesting essential oils, peppermint, lavender, whatever, whatever, and blends, weight loss blends that you actually ingest. Be very, very careful because they are, it's not indicated. You could, you could really do yourself some harm by drinking, ingesting, um, you know, essential oils. And unfortunately, there's, there, there should be much more regulation as far as that is concerned. So safety is an issue. But the other thing is miracle cure will help you lose weight. No evidence today on that one, my friends, none. Um, all right. Uh, okay, should I go plant-based? Yes, this is a great question for Desmond. Should I go plant-based if you have high blood pressure and diabetes? A hundred percent. So I work with women and, you know, part of the protocol is going, uh, you know, we go a hundred percent plant-based and Desmond, you know, the women who work with me in my program, you know, time and time again, uh, after sort of 15 or so weeks, uh, that women who ha have, have managed to reverse diabetes completely reverse pre-diabetes, bring their A1C down, bring their blood pressure down um, over and over again. And I think if Dana's still on, who's actually in my program right now, she, she he actually hears that, real people, so I'm not just saying it. So yes, my love, absolutely, that would be the approach for you, a hundred, a hundred percent. And thank you for asking that. All right, um, what have we got here? Um, okay, number five is uh, of, of how not to lose weight and gain your health, because let's, we can't really separate those two, can we? It's silly. Certainly menopause and beyond, come on, we're talking about our health, wanting to be around for years to come so that we can live to our highest potential and live as the highest expression of ourselves, and that's that's health, obviously. Um, so the other one is these uh, high protein diets, and 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 you know you may have heard me talk about this before, so I'm not going to bang this drum too much here. But you know anything that's got the sort of ketogenic, um, sort of grain free ketogenic slant to it, um, I'd be very 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 wary of that. Um, you know, and, and it's especially it's an insidious one that one because. You know, you can get some weight, some quick weight loss results initially through water loss and through lean muscle mass loss, which you actually don't want. You want to grow strong lean muscle mass, uh, certainly after the age of uh, 50, really much, very much so. Um, but, you know, so so it, it, that's why it can be a little tricky because some people go, oh, my God, but I did lose a little bit. And actually almost everyone I speak to, they go, you know, who have tried and failed on keto, they go, well, I did, you know, lose a bit and then I gained, but when I was on it, I felt horrible because you're eating all this fat and protein. Just think of the inflammation in your body. It's like, that's how you inflame your body. You inflame your gut. So as our inflammation markers um, go up as we get older, uh, stress creates inflammation, lots of things, you know, pollution creates uh, inflammation. But the last thing you want to do is throw fuel on that inflammation fire by eating um, animal products, which is exactly what that does. And also, you'll eat, that it just doesn't make any sense to me that by eating saturated fat that you're actually going to lose fat. And luck, you know, thankfully, we've got a lot of evidence, uh, you know, evidence-based um, uh, science now to, 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 to really support this. And, 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 and finally, just on that note is, you know, if you want to lower your risk for heart disease and stroke and many different cancers, then that approach is definitely not an approach that you want to touch with a barge pole. Um, and finally, my final how not to lose weight after menopause and beyond, but again, if you're watching and you're younger, game on, you're here, I'm glad you're here, is um, 
is the weight loss shakes and the bars, you know, the, the, the systems. And uh, I did a YouTube video on that recently because, again, it's so interesting to me because I speak to so many women and I get to hear day in, day out, all the approaches that don't work. So I literally get to hear that. And um, so, you know, I've spoken to many women who have tried those, you know, you know what the shakes are, their different sy systems. And, um, you know, they are, they, for the most part, they are filled with really unhealthy ingredients. I was shocked when I started to dig into this, you know, the oils, the sugars, the, it is just insane. It's like, why would you drink that when it's full of junk? It's full of something that is not taking care of your long-term health. And of course, many of the women that I've spoken to got rashes and their hair started falling out or they felt bad or they had, it, it just did not really work. Um, it, it, it had deleterious health effects is what I'm trying to say. But also, even if it did work, like one woman I spoke to said, well, she lost quite a lot of weight. So she was all she was doing was going hungry and drinking these shakes that were filled with good, well, I know exactly what it's because I looked up every single ingredient. Um, so she was drinking the shakes, having some of the snacks that they sell for the same company and, and going very hungry, very hungry. So it was unpleasant, but she forced herself to do it and she lost whatever it was, 40 pounds while she did it. Then she stopped and she gained all the weight back again. So what, you've got to depend on that, on unhealthy products to keep your weight at where you want it to be? No. So what we want is integral, holistic approach that deals with your body from the inside out, eating real food, beautiful real food that your body will, will end up craving, you know, but again, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, no pun intended, is it easy? No, it's not easy at all, you know, but you, you know, is it easy walking around feeling horrible about being um, in the body that you're in? You know, if you are overweight with ill health and low energy and you're scared about your health and your future, is that easy? No, it's not to wake up every morning and feel that way and walk through your day like that. No, that's not easy. So, you know, there is a, the, it, to, to put in the effort and the tremendous commitment to put yourself top of your list, to take care of you and your body and the cells of your body so you can be around for years to come and take care of those you love. This is really, really what we're talking about here. So I'm gonna finish there um, and um, just thank you so much for coming on and, and, and listening to me ranting, um, uh, you know, the things. Uh, how do you make your uh, uh, foods taste good, Desmond? You know, it is you. It, it, it it's a pro. It's a process, Desmond, and it takes time. It takes you have to learn. It's a learning journey. You know, I've been on this learning journey for for, for over a decade, and um, and it takes time, and it takes learning, and and it takes a lot of dedication. And the biggest piece, Desmond, and for all of you, and I just want to finish on this: the biggest piece is is the psychology and the mindset. It's like anything that we put our you know our mind to. You know, we're like, oh, New Year's resolutions. I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to get in shape this year. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to do this, and then it all falls apart. And the reason why it falls apart part is that you haven't got the mindset piece dialed in and that's why I'm passionate about coaching and mindset coaching because I know that that shift and that transformation has to be part of what happens it has to be part of your journey in order to ensure you know long time um, success and to really get you to be where you want to be so that's it from me um, and, and um, thank you for hanging out with me uh, today and um, as I said, in the, cap you know, in the caption to this video, I put a link to my masterclass that ladies like Dana and others um, watched uh, before the, you know, they started working with me. Watch that. It's free. Just goes over the five basic shifts. My, my approach, my, my deep down passionate approach that I have to this subject. So you can watch that. And, um, and you know, if, if, if it's, I, I hope it's in the caption. And if it's not, if you're not finding it, just put in the comments underneath here. Just say, link, please, Sophie. Link, please, in the comments. And I'll go into the comment thread a little bit later, and I'll pop the link in so you can watch it. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. And put yourself number one on the list, because you cannot serve from an empty cup. Bye-bye.